Hello you all. In this video is a quick update on the pyrolysis project. In the background you will see me working with the new reactor while I'll explain what's been going on. So due to the corona crisis I had a little time to spare to work on the pyrolysis project. So I built a brand new reactor and so far I can tell you it's amazing. Each and every time I am building a new one I learn from the problems the previous had. So for example, my last reactor was just too big to handle alone. Everything was very heavy and it took around one and a half hours to get it set up for a run. The new one has a volume of 14 liters compared to the previous 47 liters. It also has a fractional column that is filled with stainless steel wool and has outlets for different fractions. This will greatly decrease the amount of work I have to put in each cleanup and analysis by already yielding a very heavy, a medium, a low and an ultra low boiling fraction. With this new setup I will be able to run multiple tests a day with different waste combinations and then determine the crude composition of the produced oil. I also got a brand new rotational evaporator that was kindly sponsored to me by the company Heidolf, which allows me to use the pump of the old one as an accurate vacuum source. With such an accurate vacuum source, I will now be able to distill and analyze the ultra-high boiling paraffin fractions of my pyrolysis oil. But this wouldn't be a part of the Build Your Own Pyrolysis Reactor series if there weren't any problems. One of them is my bachelor, that needs a lot of time, and the other is high temperatures and gluing polyethylene. So, the caps I need are called GL45, and those with a hose adapter are really, really expensive. That is why I made them myself. But as it turns out, most glues can't glue polyethylene and those who can, can't handle the high temperature of the highest boiling fraction, which leads to material failure. And if that happens, I have to shut down the whole system. So, till now I'm trying to find a glue which can handle the temperatures and that is affordable for a student. <laughs> so, here's where you, my viewers, can help me out. I need your experience and expertise. If you have already worked with a material that could work, write me a comment and together as a community we will overcome this problem. If you like what I'm doing, consider supporting me via Patreon so I can buy more equipment and keep working on the pyrolysis series. And if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. The next video will be on how I built the new reactor. So have fun and do not kill yourself.